vibrate. When the air vibrates fast enough, you may hear this vibration as sound. And when different lengths of air vibrate, you hear different sounds. These are the items you require. A plastic straw and a pair of scissors. produced when the V-cut part vibrates as air passes through it. The vibration is the one causing sound. The shorter the air column, that is the straw, the higher the frequency of the sound waves and the higher the pitch. The longer the air column, that is the straw, the lower the frequency of the sound waves and therefore the lower the pitch. I'm Professor TJ and her sister Nelly Welly and today we have an interesting experiment for you but first don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel but before we start let us tell you something about this experiment this is one simple experiment but don't let that put you off it's a really cool experiment and all you need is a piece of paper and an empty bottle this experiment has all to do with Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli is a famous scientist who noticed that air has lower pressure when it's moving more quickly. For this experiment, you will need a plastic bottle, a piece of paper. We used tissue paper. And remember kids, always have an adult present as you're doing this experiment. Safety first! All the time. So now you're ready? Yeah. Ready to start? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, I have this bottle. Then I'm going to cut for you some tissue paper. And 
and then scrunch it up into a ball. Okay. Then, I'll scoop it. Air has a lower pressure when it is moving more quickly. As you blow into the mouth of the bottle, the air is moving at its fastest, so it is at its lowest pressure outside the bottle. Inside the bottle, the air is moving more slowly, so there is higher pressure inside the bottle. As the air is higher inside the bottle than at the mouth, this pushes the paper out. Funky Science, I'm Professor TJ and her sister Nelly Wen. And today we have a cool experiment for you. Before we continue, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. But before we start, let us tell you something about this experiment. In this experiment, we will learn what happens when fast-moving air particles move between two objects. This experiment will show how air pressure works between two different objects. In this experiment, you will need balloons, string, a ruler. And remember kids, always have an adult present as you're doing this experiment. Safety first! All the time! So then ready? Yeah! Ready to start? Mm -hmm. So, you're going to blow up my balloon, mm -hmm. blow one, and then I blow the other. Okay. They should be about the same size. Are they the same size? Yours looks bigger. Or are they the same? Can I do this? Okay. You know how to tie it into a knot? Yeah. Okay. This is where it's tough for me. take some string like about the same length so that the balloons are hanging at the same length yep mm -hmm. so that is like the same length <sighs> um, let me cut from here then oh this is too long looks like it's too long Let's make it shorter. So I cut. And then there we go. So tie one balloon. Mm -hmm. Then I tie the other one. Okay. Make sure you don't loosen it out. So tie. Oopsie. <laughs> Mine has left. My knot has left the building. Are you having better luck than I am? Yes, I am. Oh gosh. I'm not. Get on, yeah. Uh, yes. So let's see. Are they the same length? So then, what we will do? Mm -hmm. We'll tie. I'll tie one side here. And we must make sure that they're the same length. So I tie. Um, on one end of the ruler, you can see, on one end of the ruler, yeah, so then they must hang, and then yours, tight, so that's yeah. equal length, make sure they're, no, just make sure they're equal length, the higher, okay, yeah. 
there. Yes, tight. I don't feel like it will be longer. Okay, okay, no, I'm gonna hold it. Okay, hold it tight. So, now they should be a bit separate. No, that's fine. Then what I want you to do mm -hmm. is blow real hard in between the two balloons. In between? Yes. <laughs> okay, blow again. In between? Wait, 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 let them stop moving. Okay. Let them stabilize a little. Okay, my hand is shaky, but okay. Blow. In between. What happens? <laughs> what happens when you blow in between the two balloons? They, they. <laughs> okay, blow again. <laughs> no. Okay, blow again. Wait, wait. Okay, blow. Blow. What happened? <laughs> Why? The air particles are really in a rush when the air zooms by a surface, like an airplane wing like fast cars, the air has no time to push on the surface and just sits there so that not as much air weight gets on the surface. Less weight means less force on the area. This causes a less or lower pressure region wherever there is faster air. The air pressure is lowered as you blow between the balloons. The air surrounding the balloons that is not really moving is now at a higher pressure and pushes the balloons I'm Professor TJ and her sister Nelly Weddy. And today we have an interesting experiment for you. But first, make sure you like and subscribe. But first, let us tell you something about this experiment. Hovercrafts are absolutely brilliant and definitely a huge amount of fun. Now it's the time to make a hovercraft of your own. You won't be able to sit on it and ride around in it, but you will be able to have a huge amount of fun watching it glide across your table or desk. You learn a thing or two about friction. This is what we will require. A pop-up bottle lid, super glue, balloons, a CD or a DVD that you don't mind getting scratched. And remember kids, always have an adult present as you're doing this experiment. Safety fun! All the time. So now we're ready. Yes! Ready to start? Yes. So we're going to make a hoover craft. And then we have our CD here and our pop-up lid. So with the super glue. Now we're ready. I've taken the super glue. Yeah. And then we're going to take, we don't put too much. We're going to place it here. Can you see this space? space. Yes. Open to, open. so hold to go over the so the CD and then the pop up lid so we'll do also I take just a little bit of space in here that's about about a lot then place the pop up lid and we let it dry then for the second one same and you let it dry. So then we went here, the pop-up lid has stuck to our CD, mm -hmm. Yeah, stuck perfectly. Perfect. Now, so then we went here, yes. blow a balloon. Okay. Blow it. Come on, blow it. Blow it. That's good enough. Cool. Thank you. Well done. Then, I'm going yeah. take it over, put it over the mouth of the pop-up lid mm -hmm. and make sure it's closed. Yeah? Yes. So I'll close it. No air is escaping. Then I'm going to open. Let's open from here in the middle. Okay. So I open that bit just a little. Woo! 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 See how it works. Woo! 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 So now let's see who's going to do more than the other. Okay. Ready? Yes. Let's blow up a little.
why do you think hovercrafts glide so effortlessly? It all has to do with friction or the lack of it. As the air comes out of the balloon, it spreads into the CD. And so the hovercraft isn't actually touching the table, but floating just above it on a cushion of air. Funky Facts. I'm Professor TJ. And her sister Nelly Wedi. And today we have a cool experiment for you. Before we continue, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. But before we start, let me tell you something about this fun experiment. This is an experiment to show air pressure. There is air surrounding us everywhere, all at the same pressure. It is this same force of pressure that you feel on your skin, whether you're on the floor, under the bed, or in the shower. For this experiment, you will need a 2-litre soda bottle, a lump of clay, Play-Doh, or plasticine, a long straw and water and remember kids always do this experiment with the supervision of an adult safety first all the time so let me ready yeah ready to start mm -hmm. so we're going to do a simple experiment okay sure i have my bottle here yes and we're going to pour it in the water water <sighs> Do you think that's enough water? Yes. Let's see if the straw can reach it. Can the straw reach the water? Yes. Okay. So I'd like you to be my assistant. Hold the straw. Yes. Or would you like to do the plate around the straw? No. In the water? No, no it's not going to be in the water. Yeah. So what happens mm -hmm. is the play doh is supposed to like go around. You see? Mm -hmm. And block any space. Round the bottle. Make sure the straw is straight. Make sure the straw is straight. Am I pushing the straw? Hold on. Let me do this again. Okay. Has it gone round? There's no space. Yes, yeah, no space. Is the straw inside the water? I see. Then let's just make sure that the play doh. It's covered. Any space? Yeah? Yeah. Then I'd like you to blow. Blow? Yes, into the straw. Okay. As hard as you can. Okay. Just blow. Then let go. <laughs> as you blow air into the bottle, the air pressure increases. This higher pressure pushes on the water, which gets it forced up and out of the straw. I hope you at home were able to do this experiment like we were. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on, on Funky Science. Bye! Bye.